For the first time in five years, the state Senate is voting to decide if Hannah Scandera should get the title of Education Secretary. The Senate has toyed with the controversial Education Secretary designate in the past, but never bothered to vote on her confirmation, largely out of protest. News 13's Cole Miller is live in Santa Fe with reaction from both sides. Cole. Well, good afternoon, Kim. The full Senate is still debating that confirmation as we come on the air right now. But Hannah Scandera is closer than ever to potentially losing that designate tag. It was a hearing full of jabs. And we shouldn't be telling teachers what to do. I don't think you should be telling teachers what to do personally, Madam Chair, Secretary Designate. I, I don't think you should. Democrats taking shots at Education Secretary Designate Hannah Scandera at her confirmation hearing today. And I will work with each one of you. But more importantly, I think what I heard today, and I agree, I will work with our communities across our state to continue to deliver on the possibility that can be realized for every single student, regardless of their background, and that we will see successes that we have not seen before. People spoke out on both sides, and in the end, for the first time since so Governor Susanna sweet. Martinez handpicked Scandera in 2011, the Senate Rules Committee signed off on sending Scandera's confirmation to a full Senate vote. And I can tell you one thing, it's about time. Five years is long enough. I've been here 31 years and I've never seen a, a confirmation take this long. Others, many teachers who are fed up with Scandera's reforms, teachers' evaluations, and focus on standardized testing, couldn't believe the outcome. Our students have been victims of horrific educational policies for the last three and a half years since she's been in office. The decision comes as the American Federation of Teachers Would not listen to the teachers and parents of that state. Yeah. It's time to be marched at the Capitol. I'm not teaching, I'm testing and all, and we just keep testing these little kids that are five, six years old. It's ridiculous. These kids need help. They need a teacher. They don't need a tester or an administrator. And now, we wait. We're headed to the floor. I'm sure the debate will be long uh, there, too. And in that committee meeting this morning, the vote was 5-4 to send it to the floor. Democrat Clemente Sanchez voted with Republicans, but not out of support for Scandera. He just wanted to get it to the floor for a vote. Again, debate still going on in the Senate floor. As soon as we have a vote, we'll bring you those results. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Cole. Now, the Democrats do control the Senate, 25 to 17. The confirmation is symbolic. The Senate cannot force Scandera out.